Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about how to export video from the NVR, Hikivision NVR to a term drive like this one. So you can save your files here and later you can play back on your computer. So I'm gonna show how to save it and how to play back on your computer, all right? So the first thing you have to do is to have a flash drive like this one. So you can insert it here on the NVR USB port and export your video, all right? So first thing I have to do is come here to the menu then i can come to playback and here i can see my videos okay just wait for it to load i have my cameras just, so i select the first camera here for example you can select the one you want to back up from and here are the dates so i double click here on this date for example that's today and as you can see i have options for 30 minutes, one hour, two hours. So you can change here the way the information is presented to you. Let me just put here last, last, last 30 minutes so I can see it better. And then I can export what I want here. Let's say for example, uh, right now it's like 12.57 and I want to start exporting from here because it's just playing, right? Then I come here to this uh scissor icon and click here on start clipping so that'll be the first point when i click here it marks as the first point and i can come here and fast forward let's say 30 seconds plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 like i did it four times and then i come here and click again on the same scissor now it shows stop clipping then it's going to stop, right? So basically what I did is to clip from the point one to point B, that's the interval that I want to export. Then I come here to this file management and here we go. I have the video from 12.58 to 13.01, okay? So I can just select here and click on export. Click here to export. And as you can see, there is no thumb drive yet. So I need to insert my thumb drive, USB thumb drive. So let me just insert it here. Here we go. I insert it here on my NVR. Then I just click here on a refresh. And now I can see my thumb drive and also the backup format MP4 is a good one. And I don't want any file here on this thumb drive because I just want to back up what I have here on my NVR and I'm going to format the hard drive. So I click here, system uh, FAT32, that's good. Click OK. And now it's formatting the USB drive. So I will let, I will have everything here clean so I can just export my video. That's it, I have my video here to export. Let me just refresh here to make sure that I'm using the USB drive. There's nothing here and i can come here and export my file so video and log hit ok i'm exporting right now so i just need to wait for it to export depending on the how much file you're exporting that takes a long time so here you go exports finish it so i click ok and as you can see, I have my file here, right? Then I can play on the computer. That's the file one, uh, the first method that you can use to export your file. Let's take a look at another one. If you prefer another way, just come back here, cancel, you can come back to the, the main screen. You can come here to menu and then export. That's a different way. So you select your camera, let's say for example, camera number one and then you can select the start time and the ending time let's say here for example that's today and here let me just go to 13 here we go 13 0 to let's say for example 1305 right here we go 1305 that's the interval. Then I click here on search and it shows me that way, right? 
this thumbnail, the information, start time and end in time. And then I can export. Okay, click here. And here again, I have my USB thumb drive. Now I'm not going to format anymore because I already have my first file and I don't want to lose it. So I would just export video and log. Okay. And then it's exporting again. I just need to wait again for the file to finish exporting. And here we go. The export is finished. I just click OK. Back. Right click. Back. Exit. So I'm back on the main screen. I can just pull the pen drive from here. Now I'm going to insert it on my computer. Here we go. As soon as I insert it on my computer, it pops up here the explorer and I have the files. If I double click on the file, it start playing with the default play player here on my computer. That doesn't work. This is the Windows default player. If it doesn't work for you as well, you can use a different player. Just right click and select open with VLC media player. That's the one that works for every single file. Okay, so you can download this VLC media player from internet and you can use it. It's a free one. And here we go. I have my file playing pretty good. Just close it and test the second one. Right click, open with VOC Media Player. And here we go. It's working. That's it, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.